All right, so here I am at the Orlando Expo at the Central Florida Fairgrounds in Orlando, Florida. Look at how huge this place is. For you guys that always comment on the prices, this is what I always try to tell you on the flea market videos. There is so much stuff here. I'm pretty much not going to be able to get everything, but I'm going to stop on the stuff that I personally think is interesting or the stuff that I think you guys might think is interesting. Like if you're into custom amps, we have quite a few of them here. Got an old Vox, you know, 950. A Marwin, 200 bucks. Starcaster. There's a Vantage. There's a uh, old Fender Jazz Bass. Looks like it's a 1971. They want 2850 for it. Epiphone Thunderbird, 450 bucks. Sunhead is 650 bucks. The Mesa Titan is 1200. Ampeg B25, 450. Man, look at that 50th anniversary Stratocaster. Rickenbacker, 12 string. 3699 1973 Martin D35 near Mint 3599 Fender Twin Reverb 65 limited edition blonde one of 400 made 85 watts 1500 bucks mint condition we got a Martin 2599 got a Guild 2599 a Warrior 20th Anniversary Quilted Maple Top. Have tables with miscellaneous stuff like wall pedals. Man, just everything, dude. <laughs> Gibson Songwriter, 2500 bucks. You guys should be able to see the prices on these. Ibanez, Eastman, what are these, the AZ series? These look pretty sweet. Got some little like burger bin options. Mostly our thing here is like art. So we got case candy, magnets, stickers, wall art back here, all custom made, of course. And then we got you know a little bit of tech equipment. So if you want your scopes, all your analyzers, things that go above my head. But first year having a booth, small booth, and really excited for the show. What's your name? Justin. Justin. Yep. Nice to meet you, man. Likewise, man. Well, good cool. luck today. Have fun walking around. Yeah, yeah. will do. This place is gonna get real crowded, guys. Oh, you bought it. Okay. Okay. How's it going? Telecaster, Paul Reed Smith. Gibson Acoustic, another Paul Reed Smith. Telecaster Acoustic, Gibson Acoustic. Guild. The prices you should be able to read pretty well. So. Hey guys, what's happening? This this is my booth here, the Guitar Attic. You check us out at guitarattic.com and Randy's Guitar Attic on YouTube and if you know me, this is what I do. So, got some cool stuff, 74 Let's Paul. We got a Brett Mason over there. We got Supreme, it's super cheap. So, and a Judah. That's a really cool guitar. Never see those in a while. You can only see them. This here? Yeah, it's a Judah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Here's the backside of Randy's booth. Crazy, crazy. All right, check this booth out here. Custom Rosewood Strat, 1100 bucks, 1500 83 carbon. Gibson Deluxe, 2500 bucks. Look at this back here, 1997 USA Strat. I used to have one of these. 1100 bucks, Rosewood. 70s Lawsuit Telecaster. 700 bucks, 80s Strat. Looks like one of them uh, 80s Japanese Squires, probably. Some Gibsons. Left to right, you got 5500, 1500, and 6500 Diamond Series. $300 for a violin style bass. Got cases. 
speakers, Marshall amps, pause for prices. Looks like a Zinke on the left. Nice little plush covering there. <laughs> Down electro cabinet. It could possibly be an amp if there's something on the back, but yeah. We have a pen on the left here. That is $2,000. This is a K Jimmy Reed collection. This is $11,000. Super rare. That one's eighteen hundred bucks. And this is stuff I never see, man. Look at this. This is a holiday, sixties holiday rocket. Nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. Old rare stuff, man. Super. Old. Looks like the price on it is $12.95. I do not know what year it is. It says Bow Troll Super. We have some acoustics here. Taylor, $9.99. This is from right to left. $19.91 Martin, $26.99. Blue Ridge, $16.99. $16.99. $1,600 for the Martin beside it. Then it looks like a lap steel. $699. And the 2015 Gibson Custom Shop Sunburst Acoustic on the uh, far left there. That's $1,799. Breedlove, $1,499. Santa Cruz, $3,799. 1970 Martin, $3,899. $14.99. Martin DSS 17. Here's a Eastman AC322, $7.99. Gibson G45, $8.99. Les Paul Studio, $13.99. You should be able to see the for sale signs with the model and the price. 2020 Fender Heavy Metal Strat. Alright, check this out, guys. This is a 1979 Fender 25th Anniversary. $21.99. I believe these were initially silver. And they turned to this gold color. Looks like the bridge pickup's been changed out. Let me see something. Yes, yeah, it's, it's extremely heavy. That is nice. I love these large headstock 70 strats, man. 1980 Gibson Les Paul, 9500 bucks. This guy's got some real nice guitars here, man. This guy's doing it right. See what he's got there? Look at this Stratic, look at this Stratocaster right here. That's cool. <laughs> oh my god, the Jacksons. Looks like there's a Legator way back there. So these are soloists. Look at the head stacked up in the back. This is a Jackson reverse headstock Telecaster seven string. That's sweet, man. Yeah, neck through. What do you want for this one? They're very rare right now. It's got a $200 pickup in it. 750. 750. It's cool, man. That's an interesting piece. So this is a self-tuning robot guitar that he has here. These tuning keys move Correct. just by strumming the guitar. Right. So you can pick whatever key you want to tune to, 
it yeah. will tune, automatically tune the whole guitar to that chord. Will it do open tunings also? Yes. See, it tells you what key you're in. But it's pretty cool because my brother and I untuned it and then he strummed it and watched it move. Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> so how much is this guitar? This guitar actually retailed for $3,000. I got $2,700. Okay. Because there were only 4,000 of them made. This is number 40. It comes with a case. The case is actually pretty cool. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, man. Limited edition. First production run. Yeah. Robot guitar. Billy does these custom wraps. He makes custom guitars. You can get a hold of Billy at this email address or this phone number. Right. And you can put together mostly what anybody would anybody want to have. Wants. Yeah. It's probably best if you call me and leave a voicemail. He'll do these guitar wraps if you want to have your guitar wrapped, whether it be leather or any kind of material he can get, he can wrap. This guitar was in the last video. A lot of these aren't super expensive guitars. There's quite a few Squires, but you know, he spends a lot of time on these. I think he wants 400 bucks for this. He put the lipstick pickups in it. Here's a guitar. This is a one of a kind. He thus passes the glory of the world. This is either Greek or Latin. But this whole guitar is carved. This is a custom body and it's super light. It's got a Seymour Duncan in it. A lot of people want to know prices on the guitars. In general, what's the average price like on some of these, like the Monster Squire? The Monster Squire is $300. Yeah, yeah, okay. A lot of my custom builds are pricing between $450 and $500. They come with locking tuners, with, which are hip shot tuners, and I put uh, Dragonfire Screamer pickups in there, they're $17K. I do have some quad rails I put on some of them. Those are 23 k So depending on how, how hot you want to go, I can make it as hot as possible. Me, myself, I like my guitars hot. Just like Trixie over there, the bikini guitar. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. It's got a quad rail in it. How many ohms did you, did you say this pickup was? 23 k 23k on guitar and you use real good pots and yes. switches and everything like i got a guitar from you yeah. and the electronics in it are yeah, super solid mojo sound. yeah those are the best i like mojo sound because they're smooth this is a new wrap as well right yes i haven't seen this one before this one's got the rattlesnake pick guard this also has a rattlesnake trim on this is glove leather, like for driving gloves and stuff. So it's really soft. It's got the mini humble. Yeah. It's a cool guitar because it's a one of a kind. It's like this leather wrap here. And I think yes. you, you had that on the last one. So like this guitar here, it's a custom build. It's a one of a kind. $500 for a custom build. Man. That, that's a good deal for a custom built guitar. And there won't be nobody else out there that'll have one like it. It's got locking tuners on it as well. A lot of your tuners are open where you can see right, the gear. The that's gear. real. I like that. That's real cool, man. Most of them I like the open gear because I like the, the look of it. It looks cool. Here's a custom guitar that he put together. I'll let you guys see this. This also has those Dragon Fire pickups in it. I like how the headstock matches, the theme matches the body on it. It's pretty cool. Thanks again to uh, Billy Fender Custom Guitar. This is Jeff here, and uh, if it wasn't for them, I would have a hell of a time getting in here today. Hope everybody enjoys the show. Yeah. There's no prices on these guys. It's just too hard to get to them to get the prices. We have some Gibsons here. <laughs> wow. From right to left, that's 5,800, 5,500, 3,000. R9, 61 reissue, ES335, 2005. And we have a Flying V that is not for sale. Ooh, 1971 Les Paul Deluxe, 4,500. 61 SG. Question mark it means make him an offer. Hey, cheers. All right, these are 70s Les Pauls. There's a 78 for 6,000. 1972, it's got the neck repaired on it, wants 5,800. 
1970. Looks like 8900. 1991 Fender DR6 beside it. Looks like it's 1400 bucks. This Nuno is $300. It's the import version. Yeah, because they don't have the Floyd on it. 1998 Les Paul Custom. 3500 bucks. 1970s Ovation electric guitar. I don't think you see these very often. Thousand bucks. Here's an old Harmony, 500 bucks. It looks like it's a 1950 or 1950s model. Gibson Explorer, 2008. 1600 bucks. Nineteen eighty one Gibson Les Paul Custom, sixty five hundred dollars. Here's a nineteen sixties Epiphone Custom Coronet. Nine hundred bucks. If I don't mention it, just pause the video and look at the price tags the best you can. Nineteen eighty six Les Paul Standard, twenty seven hundred bucks. It's hard to tell. 83 Fender Elite Stratocaster, $2,100. Fender Telecaster, $3,500. 82 Tele, 80, 52 Reissue, $3,700. 2011 USA Strat. $1,200. Gibson ES350, $5,000. Taylor, $2,400. We have a Takai, $2,600. Ibanez Lawsuit. Explorer. This could be like the one that Eddie Van Halen recorded Van Halen 1 with. This is a 1977 Ibanez 3250. I believe the first Van Halen album was recorded with one of these, one similar to it, which means the value of these went through the roof since people have figured that out. All of the rhythm guitar parts anyway, rhythm guitar parts from Van Halen 1 were recorded on an Ibanez Explorer. Looks like a 1970 Dan Armstrong Ampeg. Acrylic clear body on that. We have a table here with a ton of old acoustics and other guitars. 75 Gretsch, 1600. Gibson ES 175, 7500. Gretsch 6120, 3200. 1929 National, 4500 bucks. Looks like that's a Dobro. 2800 bucks for a JJ Custom. We have a PV. <laughs> hey, and an uh, ongoing joke in the videos is there's always a 23 fret PV in all of the videos. Looks like a parlor mini port. 1998 The Paul. Here, I'm going to go through the front here first. What's the name of your booth here? We're, we're, we're going to the Guitar Road Show, but I'm Musician's Headquarters, so. If you Google Musician's Headquarters, you'll find us. Okay. Like and subscribe, right? Yeah, yeah. Click <laughs> like and subscribe. Alright, 1927, the Gibson, 3200 bucks. I'm going to scan across the front row of guitars, and then I'll try to get a different angle and get the ones that are behind. Just read the signs, guys. I got to move along. You should be able to read the tags. PRS, big headstock Fender Stratocaster, Takai, Gibson, 1995, 1980 Gretsch, 1250, Les Paul Studio, 1500 bucks, 
Squire Telecaster. Fender Stratocaster back there in the back. We're gonna go across this way. I'm going to try to get the back row here. Just see what you can of them. Read the tags. Nineteen seventy one Fender Telecaster, five thousand bucks. Nineteen eighty two Vintage Squire Telly, not a Gibson. So, this is probably a Chipson. <laughs> Sweet. Looks like these uh, made in Mexico Stratocaster looks like 550. Might be an old Mexican standard, possibly. None of these have prices on them, so it's one of them situations where if you're interested, uh, you have to talk to the gentleman, see what the prices are. These are some old Gibson acoustics, it looks like. There is no information on them. Um, so yeah. Just try to pause the video. If you guys want to look into these and see what they are. A lot of these are in need of repair. <clears throat> Have a Stella. Again, no prices on these. Look at all these pedals, man. I can't get to them. Just pedals as far as you can see. <laughs> All right, we got a Parker Fly. I can't really see the price. It looks like 2275. 80s ESP, 1200, 1250. USA Thinline Telly. We got a Henrik Charvel, 1400 bucks. This Ibanez Prestige, dude. This is something that I don't need to pick up and play because th this is very tempting. Rare DiMarzio guitar? 1995 is the price. Oh, yes. 1975 Fender Stratocaster, 7.2 pounds. Absolutely killer. He wants 4,500 bucks for it. I don't know what this is, guys. First year, VB, the fatty, 3,200. There's a signature up here on the headstock. These signs are kind of hard to read. Looks like California something strap, 695. Boogie Bodies Bass. New old stock, 50th anniversary, 1895. HP parts telly, 450 for that uh, pink telly. There's a Stratocaster signed by Jimmy Vaughn for 750 bucks. Nineteen eighty seven, made in Japan. Stratocaster twelve string it looks like. Thirteen ninety five the price on that one. Ninety one Fender Strat, very rare frost red. Eighteen seventy six. Nineteen ninety two first year production, Stevie Ray Vaughn model. Nice. Eighteen ninety five. A little bit of closer look at these pedals here. Just gonna have to pause it, guys. There's people everywhere. Here's another Ampeg with the acrylic body. It's see through, you yeah, just can't even see it in the camera. 1974 Fender Mocha Custom Telecaster. They want 4,500 for that one. 96 Gibson Harbor, 4,500. There's a V with a Bigsby. 
These tags are kind of hard to read. 5,500 bucks for that one. 76 Gibson Limited Edition Explorer. 7,000 bucks. Here's a Gibson Firebird. $8,000. 1972 is what that is. 1966 Gibson Lopez. What is it? $6,500. 66 Gibson Long Neck. $330. $4,750 is the price on that one. We got a Fender Baseman. Uh, Benson Amp. 72 Alamo there on the right. Some Supro Hoffner Guild. Martin Gibson. Pause it for the prices. 1969 Gibson Firebird. Eleven thousand five hundred dollars. It's got some nice lacquer checking going on right there. Nineteen sixty Gibson Skylark, eleven hundred bucks. Magnetone combo. The prices are pretty easy to see on these. I'm just going to scan through, guys gonna have to pause see something you're interested in you're gonna have to pause or run in slow motion 0.25 speed on the YouTube viewer just press the little gear select 0.25 of course you'll get to hear me talking real slow <laughs> it's hard to get back there to see the rest of the stuff here at this booth because uh, this stuff's in the way and uh, it's real crowded can't block the walkway here guys I have to scan through. I'll try to hold the camera, try to hold it as long as possible. These are Les Pauls. Martin and Taylor Acoustics. Back side of the booth, we have some, uh, you know, fenders back there. From left to right, we've got 2800, 1750, 1300, 1250, 875. We have a Gibson and a Taylor, Gibson Songwriter, Taylor GSK. So Songwriter's 2500 bucks. GSK Koa is 2650. We got some LPs here, man. Custom built Telly. Seymour Duncan pickup in that custom built guitar. I'm going right to left, guys. Yamaha Classical. PRS Acoustic. Looks like there's a K back behind it. Fender Lead 2, 1980. They want 1050 for the price. 1983 Smith Era Fender Stratocaster. 1250 is the price. Custom Relic Stevie Ray Vaughan, 700 bucks. This is a uh, this is a Chender, I believe. They make some of these uh, in China. 72 Ovation. 400 bucks. 54 Framus. Looks like 400 bucks. A Honer back behind it. 100 bucks. D18, 550 bucks. Got a couple of banjos. 1960s Paris Am, 225 bucks. Looks like Chicago Music Exchange is going to be here. Looks like this is their table. That's a real nice looking Telecaster back there, but I don't know anything about it. It's not tagged, and I don't belong over there messing with it. You'll just have to pause it to see what that is. Could be a 50s Telecaster. There's no tag on this. It's a Gibson JVM Mini Stack. Fender Professional, 1100 bucks. We have a Paul Reed Smith 305. Got Seymour Duncan pickups in it. 1100 bucks. Another Paul Reed Smith. Here's a Richie Blackmore. I'm interested in this right here. Richie Blackmore. Signature. This has a scallop fingerboard on it. Two Seymour Duncans, and then he puts a dummy pickup in the center because Blackmore doesn't use a center pickup. 
to John Lennon Casino. So. Yeah. Limited edition in me. And that was his limited edition acoustic model. Nice. Both of these are John Lennon models? Yeah. yeah. Inside the hole where you can see limited edition John Lennon. Yeah. Okay, we have bases here. Most of these have real small price tags on them. And I just can't get to them. I can see a Fender Jazz Bass. There's a Rickenbacker. Double neck ovation, no price tags. ARP Omni 2. Just gonna scan through slow and let you guys read the labels, man. Sixty-seven Flying V reissue, eighteen hundred bucks. We have a small box Marshall here with a Variac on top of it. Thirty-five hundred bucks. I don't know if that includes the cabinet. There is a uh, top hat, 1800 bucks. 1956 Deluxe, 5000 There's a 1959 Fender Stratocaster, $40,000. Right here. And uh, get some Ibanez. Supro Fender Deluxe Martins Gibsons <laughs> Gretsch Like this Gibson right here is $45,000 looks like it's a 1960 ES335 Here's a Gretsch I can't get to the price tag. Free Civil War Parlor guitar, three thousand dollars. Nineteen fifty one Epiphone, eight thousand dollars. National Glenwood with case, five thousand dollars. Another Parlor guitar, fifteen hundred bucks. And look at this stuff here, man. You work on tubes and test tubes with this. Was that a tube tester? Windsor Studio Amp, 100 bucks. Old National Amp, 450 bucks. Trainer Combo, 300. Got a Jazz Chorus down there, 400 bucks. Rolling Jazz Chorus, Line 6 stuff. There's a Centaur. I don't know anything about these. I think they're real popular. Head, cab, national, tricor, lift case, 7,000 bucks. Here's a Dobro. Dobro, with case, 1,000 bucks. Another national, 2,500 bucks. Martin. Looks like a 1973 Martin, 3500 bucks. D20 something looks like a D29. Another parlor guitar. Epiphone, 1954 Epiphone. 1200 bucks. This is a Zenith. Power supplies, pedals. Old Ibanez pedals. Furman, Bolton Soloist, 300 bucks. 61 SG reissue, 1500 bucks. 
Here's a Les Paul for 5000 I don't know who signed it. Maybe you can read it. Line six. A Ramparts. Supro. Supro's 425. Rampart 325. Here's a Mesa Boogie. $2,100. Working Dog Cab, $1,600. Dr. Z Amps, $1,850. dollars 1100 for this one up here. Here are some stained Telecaster bodies. Nice. A lot of these aluminum Dobro looking guitars here. Gretsch. There's no price tags on these guys, and I can't get to them. We got a Rickenbacker down there at the end. 1965 Fender Stratocaster. No price. Epiphone, Gretsch, down there at the end. Made in Japan, Yngwie. Yeah, you know like what year it is? 89. It's 89. This is pretty nice. It's not Scallop Super D. Yeah. Like the newer models are. That's really cool, man. Pick up the mm -hmm. i2000. It is a year 2000. Brian Moore. That's one of the NAM models with no uh, MIDI on it. What's the weight like? It's, it's not bad. Those are DR strings, right? The, DR, co the DR color DR? Yeah. yeah. Here's a Goldfish Bass 250 Epiphone Les Paul Gold Top, 400 bucks. Imperador 12 string, 250 bucks. What is this thing here? What a Bagley? I can't see, guys. I'm blind. This is a metal fingerboard. Like an aluminum fingerboard. That one is a full custom build, bagged aluminum back, warm off body, fishman fluence, bright top. Oh, yeah? Yep. The guy had four grand in putting it together. That's cool, man. <laughs> oh, man, this is a Gibson Explorer. You'll have to read the tag, guys. I, I can't see it. Looks like a Fender Highway 1 or a Fender American Special. This could be a new American performer. Looks like $11.99 on that one. Wolfgang Special, bro. Epiphone, Framus, Univox. This Epiphone is $7.79. Framus, $6.99. Univox, 779. And uh, interesting guitar, 729. We got a Taylor here. Looks like 1999 on this Taylor. Here's a, um, a McKinney Lab Steel, 429. Gibson Acoustic, 1000 bucks. Guild Freshman, $2,000. This is an Ingbe Malmsteen Stratocaster, $2,000. I'd like to see how much that, that one weighs. Kramer Beretta. Daisy Rock Acoustic. Rick Style 12 string. Lots of traffic here. I gotta scan through Alvarez. I can't even uh, back up enough to uh, get it in the frame. can't read all of these prices off guys just uh, check them out here's some amp heads Marshall cabinets 
Prices are on the card below them. A lot of high-end stuff here. I want to sit here for just a minute so you can look through these. Yeah, see what I'm having to walk through, guys? Oh my god. Here are some Fender Stratocasters. 1962 right here. 19,900 bucks. We got a 1973 beside it. 29.99. 1980s, made in Japan. 800 bucks. Jazzmaster. We have an Ibanez back there. 2000 Fender, Fast Strat. We have a GNL down there. We have combo amps through here. I'm going to see what the weight is like on this 73 Strat. Oh my god. The thing is heavy, bro. I don't know if we should touch the $19,000, 1962 Strat. Can I pick up on this just to feel the weight? You can them, pick them up. I can film you. I can. I can tell you just can, by. It is. It is. Has it got the original pickups in it? Original pickups, original wiring, original bridge, replaced bar, Callahan steel springs, different pick guard, uh, re repro tuners. Those are the pickups to it's get. Monster. That style is actually the one that uh, Hendrix recorded the first album. Yes, sir. Yeah, like a 63, 64. Yeah. 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 Instead of the fat headstocks that you see them with. Mm -hmm. So like on the first Are You Experienced, that tone is killer on that one. It's, it's, yeah. That's, that's why I've got it priced the way I do. Yeah. <laughs> Viola Japan. I had it in the parts of 795. 1969 Fender Tele Fenline. Epiphone Kiss model. Yeah, Tommy Thayer. Electric Blue Purple Seymour Duncan JB are the pickups. 895 bucks. Typical Epiphone press. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Alright, guys, I gotta move along. Italia Modulo Gold Sparkle. 749. Okay, try to back up. I gotta scan through, guys. Nice Charvel there, the green one. That's a GNL, one of 160. PV, PV Impact 1, 1962 Showman, he's owned this since 1967, 4200 bucks, 1962 Bandmaster, all original, $1,800, PV 175, 1965 Airline, $400, 1945 Electar Zephyr Epiphone, 800 bucks. 1959 Silvertone, 2x12, that's 750 bucks. 1964 Deluxe Reverb, $3,800. 2200 bucks. 1956 Tweed Deluxe, $5,400. Marshall JTM 45, hand wired, $3,000. Possibly a reissue. Mojo Tone 2x12. UK Greenbacks, $450. We have some 12 uh, inch speakers here, EVH. We have pedals here. Looks like we have a Gretsch, a Gibson Flying V. 1700 bucks. Um, like a Terry 
the Jeff Beck's exercise machine. 300 bucks. 1946 Vega. 1900 bucks. Looks like it has the original sales receipt to it. <laughs> nice. 1932 L75 Gibson. This is uh, $4,000. Oh, we got the old uh, Yamaha Ford Sound PSS 125. A lot of a lot of nice vintage stuff here. 1954 Guild X50, $1,600. 1954 Fender Champion. Looks like a lab steel, $900. It's a new flight case. Oh man, I love how these vintage PVs just make appearances in these videos. It's so awesome. This GNL is catching my eye. I have no idea what it is. These are kind of like uh, no names, you no know, Squire. We got Gibson SG. I can't really, um, can't get back there, guys. Gold top Les Paul right there. Gibson Les Paul Custom. Can't get the prices. There's no prices on them, guys. Can't get the prices. Or if there is prices, you'll have to read them. Nice. $22.50. Gibson Les Paul, 72 Deluxe, Factory Humbuckers. $7,200. Bucks. Nice. <laughs> That's a mocha strap back there. Okay. 1989. Straight up Zach Wild vibes. Lots of nicotine. Oh yeah. Does it? It's like it's never been broke though, right? Doesn't look like these turn yellow anyway. But the nicotine, I help it. <laughs> Oh man! It's not for sale. It's a 1955 Les Paul Custom, guys. Anointed Instruments Warrior Certificate of Authenticity Epiphone there We have some basses back there A Gibson What in the world is that back there in the corner? That is like a harp and a guitar mixed A guitar harp Here's a Guild Acoustic Guild Electric right beside it Looks like a Gibson 335. That's a 1961. And he wants uh, 18,000. Gibson SG, custom. 1966. Yeah, 9,900. Says 1966 SG custom. Here's a Friedman twin sister, 2,200 bucks. We got a Paul Reed Smith MT100, 1400 bucks. Engel Fireball right there for 1300. Omega Obsidian. Isn't Omega Obsidian like a super brutal amp? It's 3400. Way back there in the back is a KSR. Uh, 2200 bucks. We got some uh, Paul Reed Smiths. My goodness. Okay. 
master built 55 re reissue Stratocaster. All right, this is two Dave Mustang Flying Bs right here. You don't see these often at all. It's got the Kaler mixed bridge on them. Jeff Hanneman. 2020 Gibson Andy James. Age Silver. $25,000. Here's an ESP MX250. A lot of Ibanezes down there. Man, Prestige. Looks like a, uh, what is that, a swirl? There's a swirl Ibanez, and there's a Joe Satriani uh, Chrome Boy down there. Gibson Designer Explorer with original hard shell case, 2700 bucks. Lots of people in the way, guys. There's an Eric Clapton Stratocaster there on the left. American Pro Telecaster, Nashville Power Telecaster. You can see all of the signs there. You'll have to look at them. 88 Stratocaster, Fender Eric Clapton. There's another Eric Clapton beside it, Candy Apple Red. Oh, there's, there's stuff behind it that I just can't get to. Got some pedals right there. Here's the other side of the booth. Oh man, just looks like there's burns. You know, mostly Gretsch, Guild, Ivanez. Ovation Viper 3 with original hard shell case, $9.99. Viper, $8.99. This is probably an interesting piece right here, so I'll scan over this one. Okay. Dan Electro, 375. We got Epiphone, um, Gibson. You'll just have to read the tags. Pause it and read the tags, guys. I gotta move along. RG350 DX. Got a Schecter Platinum. PRS Torio. We got a Marshall. We got a Fender. <laughs> As the video progresses, I'm gonna start going faster and faster, guys, because it's just overwhelming how much stuff is here. And there's starting to be more and more people here also, as you can see. I'm not used to being around so many people. Here's a 1977 Fender Stratocaster. They want $35.99 for it. Rare color, American Standard, right behind it. Les Paul, Ventura 50s. There's a natural 76 Strat, $29.99. Les Paul behind it. Gibson. There's some amps here that are in my way, so I can't maintain this view. I'll scan slow and you gotta read the tags. <laughs> I'm just getting tired of talking, man. These people are just waiting for me to get out of the way, guys. So if you want to see this right here, 69, 1970. On the left there, $10,000. 1950 California Model 1100, 1400 bucks. I don't know what this is in front of it. A Reverend, something like that. Okay, some tail pieces. That is, I don't know what this is. Yeah, here's the lab steels. You see the prices on them. Parts down that way. All right, here's what we're gonna do, guys. There's so many people here that I'm just gonna scan down the aisles and not really talk.
What's going on? Good it's Guitar Frog. We finally found the Rockstar Isle. We found, oh, where are my glasses? Yeah, we all right. The best deals in town, the largest selection, everything must go today. I gotta get the official version of Guitar Frog's yeah. business The original card name here. of the business was Guitar Fraud, but we changed one letter from Guitar Fraud to the D to Guitar Frog with a G, and it's golden. G is for guitar. Yeah, right? so if you'd like to copy this information down, <laughs> what would be funny, dude, is have like a bandana. Have like a bandana. <laughs> Transparency, guys. Uh, we're, we're, we're not hiding anything. We're going to find a boat coder later and we'll do the segments. Yeah. I don't even watch the segments after the filming. I never watch Oh, yeah. It's kind of like Johnny Depp, you know. Yeah. He, he never watches his work. Artists are like that, you know. We shoot a Guitar Frog commercial. Guitar Frog commercial. Or a dime a dozen. Thank you for selling my yeah. channel. Love the channel. Smash that like button and uh, press subscribe. Turn on notifications. And clear your browser history. Because you never know when the FBI is monitoring. You hear that echo in your, on your phone. You hear an echo. Yeah. That yeah. means they got the line tapped. Enjoy the show. All right, man. <laughs> this one's more exhausting than the other one. Take care, bro. <laughs> Looks like a court made by Matsumuko. It's 200 bucks. This um, Squire's 180, Maxitone 350, early Ibanez Japan. Look at this, bro. This is a Malobar Screamer 5. The guitar is actually sideways. It's a flying V, but look at this. Wow, this is like a, a lap steel also, <laughs> set up the same way. This is 975 and uh, I don't really see a price on this one. Yeah, Rockman, MIDI controller. Fender Telecaster, 1968, 8,500 bucks. Please ask first. It's a 66 J200, 7,800 bucks. We have a Gibson Jumbo 55, 9,500 bucks. 1956 Tribute. Looks like Les Paul Jr., 2,900. Gibson LP Fenline, hollow body. 3900 bucks. There's a jazz bass. 1974, 3800 bucks. And uh, Chrissy Hinder, custom. Some kind of Fender Telecaster, $795. Yeah, yeah. Fend line guitar. <clears throat> Got to get out of the way. More lap steels. 400 bucks. Here is a lab steel signed by a lot of people. Fender, Fullerton, California. I'm gonna scan along these signatures. Yeah. 80s Acebird, Hummingbird, with the original hard shell case, Gibson. 3200 bucks. You guys can see these. Here's a 1982 57 reissue for 5500. Gibson base 1500 bucks. 1969 Epiphone 5500 bucks. And uh 335 DOT, 2900. 
Here's a 50s Telecaster right here. The price on that 50s Telecaster is 19,005. 1959 Gibson ES 175D it looks like, 11,900. 1969 Fender Jaguar, 9995. 1953 J45, 999.50. 08 Gibson Les Paul. 50s neck. 2200 bucks. There's a 09 Gibson 50s neck tradition something. Classic 57s, $2,000. 2011 Gibson Les Paul 50s neck. 1800 bucks. There's a 2010 American Special Strat. Looks like candy apple red. 900 bucks. This is a vintage guitar specialist table. He's got a bunch of pedals here, guitars back behind them. All right, guys, let me just pass through this stuff without talking. Olympic White, nice, 1970 Fender Stratocaster, looks like 14000 on that one. What do we got here? We got a 1955 Gretsch Roundup, $16,000. Man, it's just that right out here on the table. Probably one of them you broke it, you buy it deals. That'd be bad. Oh yeah, what you got here? <laughs> it's the shit Oh man. This is my endorsement. This is your signature model? Yes, it is. Gas X Chewables. Yeah, and uh, the podium wouldn't come up with much, so I had to put them back here on the rear. <laughs> I mean, it's still functional. Oh wow, you, you, you got it signed back here too. Yeah, that's me. Oh, I built it. oh you actually built it. I, Everything you've seen here earlier today, I built. Oh, okay. Oh, and yeah. It actually plays, but it's, it's not, a, not a fine instrument by any means. You make some interesting guitars. Like earlier, you had a guitar with a rattlesnake uh, rattler. Yeah, well, the, uh, yeah, that was a Texas guitar. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I put that one back. I parked right outside. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, they'll get a kick out of this, guys, online. This is Big Al's booth. He runs the Mount Dora Musician Swap Meet at Renninger's from my other YouTube videos. People that want to ask about that, you can check out my previous videos of the Guitar Flea Market. And that's the second Sunday of September, November, January, March, and May, if you ever want to check it out. I believe it starts at 8 a.m. there, and they have live music starting around noon, I believe. I told them about the musician swap meet, when they can come there. <laughs> 
Nice so, to meet you folks. Yeah. We have a page called Big Al's Lake County Musician Swap Meet. Our event takes place five times a year in Mount Dora at Renninger's, and it takes place on the second Sunday of September, November, uh, January, March, and May. Yeah, that's a real good event. You can check previous... We've got uh, a jam, we've got a car show. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. You know, it doesn't cost you a lot. Search previous videos on my channel. Of, it'll say Guitar Flea Market on the thumbnails, and that's the event that's held at Renningers in Mount Dora. Next Dorfort. one's March 10th. Yeah, next one's March 10th, so go there. I'll put the schedule of that in the comments below as well. Just like the flea markets, we have a lot of parts bins here. I'm just going to scan over these real fast because I don't know if you guys are interested in this stuff. We got pig guards, tuners, miscellaneous parts here, drum hardware, knobs, pickup hardware, pegs. We got short guitar stands, acoustic bridges, strings, strings, bass strings. We have a bunch of people in the way here that I'm walking around. And more parts, all parts stuff. Guys, I want to thank Billy Fender Custom Guitars for getting me into this show. I got a laminate here courtesy of him this would be quite a hassle getting in here if it wasn't for him all right guys that's going to be it for this video thank you for checking it out subscribe to my channel if you haven't i will try to keep doing videos like this when i can and uh yeah take it easy mm -hmm.